Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Star Trek Flux. So in a previous blog post, I covered Star Trek Flux and Star Trek The Next Generation Flux, but we haven't actually played it on camera. I am covering this because recently Looney Labs decided to send us Star Trek DS9 Flux. I looked on Amazon and you can currently pre-order it for 20 bucks as of the date of this recording. So if you like what you see here, you can head on over and pick it up. So I don't know how long these games are going to take. I'm either going to do three games in one video or I'm going to do three separate videos and feature each game in a, in a separate video. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how long these games are. Uh, generally, these games support uh, two to six players. It's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is roughly 10 to 40 minutes. The object of this game is to complete the current goal card that might be out on the table. The rules are relatively simple, at least to start with. At the very beginning of the game, you draw a card, and then you play a card. That's it. Sounds easy, right? Well, no. As you continue to play this game, new rules will be added that will overwrite existing ones. Like, a card might come up that'll say, draw three, or maybe play two, in which case you overwrite the existing draw or play card, respectively. Other rules might let you draw the top card for free without taking an action, that kind of thing. So as we play the game, new stuff is going to come up, and again, there are goal cards that will be coming up as we play as well, and we'll be playing those goal cards as well. Uh, the goal cards will simply overwrite each other, just like the rules do. So whatever goal is on top is the one that we're shooting for. Goals usually say you need two types of cards, like it might say Scotty and Transporter. If I've got Scotty and Transporter up in front of me, at that point in time, that goal card is active, I automatically win the game. But I might have Scotty, but then she might play a goal card that might be for some two other cards that are completely different, and then my Scotty really isn't all that useful. Other cards will come up, and we'll get to them as we get to them. All right, let's go ahead, give this a try. Um, I'll let you go first if you want. So you would just draw a card, play a card. Okay. And... and I'll go ahead and move this. And this version that we're playing right now is Star Trek Flux. This is the original series. Uh, again, we'll cover the other two shortly. And what I'll do is, um, I want to make sure that you guys can see the cards as they're being played. So anything that you play on, try to put like here, and I'll put mine here. And we'll put the rules like here. So goal. All right, so the way the goals are going to work, we're going to put them maybe here. Okay. This is the current goal. Oh, yeah. yeah, so the goal now is landing party. Uh, Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. So if anyone has Kirk, Spock, and McCoy in front of them in their personal tableau, they will win the game. All right, so now it's my turn. I'm going to draw a card. And this is what I currently have. Uh, lots of these. Um, this is this is an action, these blue ones. They're a one-time use. Uh, so this one, there's a lot of text there. I don't want to read it out loud because then she'll know what it is. Um, no, you're fine. <laughs> Um, I'm just, I have to, you have to play a card, so I'm just going to do something else. I'll play uh, Spock's Beard. New goal. So now you need Spock in the mirror version. So I need, that, those are the two cards that we need in order to win the game. Okay. So now you draw a card and you play a card. <laughs> wow, you shuffled them, I didn't. I know. So, uh, Majel's voice, chapel and computer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play uh, this keeper in front of me, Nayara Yuhora. Mm -hmm. So that's one keeper that I've got in front of me, and there's no keeper limit. Keepers are just uh, personnel and equipment stuff that will be in front of you, and these will match the goals. So right now this does not match the goal, but maybe a card in the future will. So now you can play. Draw one, play one. Um... I will play this one. Okay, so that is Ensign Smith, the red shirt. He's going to die. Anytime, <laughs> anytime any player discards or takes away one of your keepers, they must take this card instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'll draw one and play one. All right, so I've got Pavel Chekhov. Okay. 
So these are the ones, I mean, not helpful. <laughs> Who's that? Hikaru Sulu. Hikaru Sulu. Oh wow. my. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Uh, Tricorder. During your turn, you may look at the cards in the hand of one of your opponents. Oh, interesting. So I can look at your hand during my turn. But I, I, I'll do that next turn. Right. My whole hand? It's what it says. Oh, All right. Um. Alright, so I'm going to use an action. Okay. Steal something. Take your choice of any keeper or creeper from in front of another player and put it in front of you. So this will just be, this is a one-time use. So I'm going to put it, this is a new discard pile just for actions and the like. So you're going to steal something? Yeah. Is that what you're going to do? I'm going to steal the tricorder. The tricorder. <laughs> okay, there you go. And then this steal effect was what again? Anytime any player discards or takes away one of your keepers. Oh, okay. They, so this is like, I have to take that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I, I, so you drew and played one. I'm going to draw. All right. Uh, huh. Okay. I'm going to play this, Brain Transference. Mm. You and a player of your choice switch seats at the table, leaving your hands. You each take over the other player's entire position in, uh, as if you were in that position all along. So the way this is going to, so instead of you, you can yeah, stay there. Can I'm going to take this, you take this, wow. here's my hand, there's your hand. <laughs> so I'll put these like that. <laughs> It's crappy, I'm telling you, these cards. That's funny. All right, and now I've got all of these. All right, and then it's your turn. All right. So this is what I got. Wow, look at all these cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, I will draw one. And this goes into the discard pile. Um. All right, I'm going to... Changing the goal? Yeah. Now, okay, so now any two of tricorder, phaser, and communicator. I've got the tricorder, mm -hmm. so I just need a communicator or phaser to win, mm -hmm. which you know I don't have. Um, okay, so this is what came up. I uh, don't like that one. Now, these purple cards can be played either on your turn or on someone else's turn. Um... I don't like that either. Um, huh. Dorian, you might insert. Okay. Alright, I'm going to play the Keeper, Guardian of Forever. Mm -hmm. Got a special ability, and it's your turn. What was the special ability for that? It says, during your turn, you may insert this into the middle of the draw pile to take an extra turn after this turn. The maximum number of turns you can take in a row using this is two. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I am going to do New goals. Uh, McCoy and Chapel. Um, draw... I'm going to trash the new roll. Get rid of that, and this goes there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do this one. Ships phasers, Enterprise and Phaser. Okay. You really shuffled these, didn't you? <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Um. Wow. All right, I'll just do Miracle Worker, Scotty, and Malfunction. That's the new rule. Our new goal? Yeah. She's okay. very conflicted. The communicator, okay? 
Okay, um, new roll, draw four. So when I play this, I can also take that effect immediately. Mm -hmm. So um, if you just play this card, draw extra cards as needed to reach your four cards drawn. So I get three more cards. Yes. One, two, three. Oh, I got a Creeper, Doomsday Machine. Immediately place and redraw. If you have this, <clears throat> if you have this and the Enterprise, you can discard both cards. Any other event that would cause this to be discarded instead just moves it to the next player. You cannot win if you have this unless the goal says otherwise. So, yeah, this Doomsday Machine is a rather nasty card. So I cannot win until I get rid of it. Okay, fun. And I get to draw one more because that was a creeper. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I, I did play already, so you okay. get... It, it's still, it's draw four, play one. So you have to draw four cards and then play one. Okay. Did you draw four? Um, oh, I, oh, I have to draw four? Yeah, you draw four one, and you play one. Two. Three, four. Oh, that's right, okay. Um, it's a creeper. Okay. Immediately place plus redraw. Act, attach this to one of your crew member keepers. Both cards stay together until discarded or removed from play. Okay, so oh, this so basically this is this little symbol means you attach it to one of your keepers, which is one of those green member uh, green cards over here. Mm -hmm. Attaches to one of your crew members, uh, keepers. Both cards stay together until discarded or removed from play. You cannot win if you have this goal, or, or you cannot win if you have this unless the goal says otherwise. Ouch. So yeah, attach this to one of your crew member keepers. Okay. And I have to draw one, but not play one. Correct. Well, no. Yeah. Did you, yeah. Go ahead. You can draw one. Yep. Draw one. No, you didn't play one yet, though, right? I. No, that does not. That playing a creeper does not count as a play. Creep, that's a separate thing. You As, didn't play one either, then. I thought I did. Did you? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I thought I played that gold. Oh, and I played the draw four, remember? Oh, okay. My last turn, I played the draw four rule. Oh, and then that's when you picked up the creeper? Yeah. Okay, I see, I see. All right, so I can still play one? Yep. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is tough. Um. Empty Alliance. Klingons and Romulans. Alright, so I draw four. Okay. One. Okay, well, first I have Creeper. Klingons. Immediately place and redraw. You cannot win if you have this unless the goal says otherwise. Alright, so that's... That does not count as a card draw, so I still draw my four. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. All right, so I can play one. Um, two. Uh, there's so much going on here. Uh, okay, so that I, that's a bad idea. I'd have to get rid of... Whenever you uh, introduce a limit, then you have to discard down after your turn is over. I don't want to do that yet. Um, holy cow. That would, <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Okay, um, that would be interesting, but I don't think it would be a... Uh, there's no point. Um, oh, crap. Okay. Um, I don't want to play a new role. Oh, man. Alright, I'm going to have to do, um... Alright, I'm going to play this one. Mr. Spock and Tricorder. Okay. So now you have four cards that you can draw. One, two, three, four. Okay. And... <laughs> oh my gosh.
Okay. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna play this action. Okay. Um, everybody gets one. Set your hand aside. Count the number of players in the game, including yourself too. Draw enough cards to give one card to each player and then distribute them evenly among all the others. You decide who gets what. So I draw two cards and then distribute them? That's yes, I believe so. Okay. Yeah. So one, two, I look at them. You give me play all. Oh my gosh, replaces the play rule. So basically this one, but all of them. Holy cow. Okay, um, my turn? Yes. All right, so one, two, oh, trebles. You can move this to any player with a crew member. Uh, during your turn, you can move this to any player with a crew member. You cannot win if you have this unless the goal says otherwise. Wow. <laughs> so this is my second draw, so I have to redo that. But yeah, so I can move this at, uh, at the end of my turn to you, because you've got a yeah. crew member. So this is two, three, four. Okay, so... Okay, I think... I got this going. Okay, so for my play, mm -hmm. I am going to play all. Oh, nice. Which lets me play all my cards. Yeah. So I think I got this. So for my first play, I'm going to introduce a new rule that says, Creepers do not prevent you from winning. So now I can win if oh, I can wow. satisfy the objective. New goal. Tribbles and Klingons, and I've got Tribbles and Klingons here. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I need to do anything else. I mean, I could play, I mean, I, I instantly satisfied that condition. So you instantly won? Right. Okay. The, that play all, Yeah. I had this, and I didn't want you to win that previous Oh, because I had, I had the tricorder. So I kind of had no choice but to give you that. Oh, was, okay, I see. Makes it. Well, I also had this. I had, um, I yes. had, I had, pl I had play all but, play all but one. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And man, that's switching out, though. That's nasty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that helped me out, because, you know, you had, you had the, the red shirt and the tricorder. I, I forgot, I forgot to use them, though, to look at your hand. Look at this. You had so many goal cards, <laughs> it was ridiculous. The only rule goals that's it uh -huh. i wanted to kind of save this until like we started really uh hand gaming. limit oh man yeah i would have played no actually I all played, the discarding I played this one hand, <laughs> hand limit one what are you gonna do with I that i should have done that one for you like just to you may hold more cards during your turn as long as you discard down to one when your turn ends yeah. oh my god i should have done that one <laughs> So that is Flux, folks. Um, that was just the original series version. Um, in the next video, we'll feature Star Trek The Next Generation Flux. So stay tuned. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content we happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. And of course, the lovely Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.